Matthew indicates we're sick. They got COVID tested. She is wild. And Okay, so I've got my coffee. I'm drinking that. Costin is playing. I have started journaling in the morning rather than being on social media. We're like getting straight into work. So this is the prompts collection by Life by Car, which is a sweet local friend that I have who is absolutely killing it as an entrepreneur. So I'm currently working on gratitude and I think I'm on the journaling prompt number four this morning, but it's completely self-guided so you can go at your own pace all of the different categories of the prompts and like pick from the different categories if you need like to work on some self-care that day or some routines or love languages or things like that um imposter syndrome i'm definitely gonna love that one because i feel like i definitely struggle with that i will have a link below to the journal prompts and to her website and her instagram because i think she's amazing and i definitely want to share her with you guys Just what it was needed Clean in the blackest night Cloistered in injustice dead And in the eyes of time Nobody is losing The sparrows will be here by dawn hey, Good morning just put Costin down for her second attempt at her nap for the day or her morning nap because Abby was actually waking up. The girls share a room so when Abby woke up she woke Costin up and then Costin didn't take her nap this morning. So I just put her back down as soon as I got done getting ready. Abby is headed downstairs for some breakfast. Liam is still sleeping. Matthew went to work. So today we're actually gonna go see some fireworks tonight. The kids don't know about that yet. It's gonna be a surprise most likely and I'm hoping that Matthew gets off work tonight to be able to come with us. It's currently 8.37 right now and I started a new morning routine where like instead of being on my phone or instead of I used to jump right into work the minute that I woke up and I finally stopped doing that. I really needed to stop doing that because I was kind of just not allowing myself ever to take a break at all and then I just kind of got burnt out from doing it so much. So that's why there's been less videos and stuff. I've just been trying to realign my mental health and everything. Also Matthew and the kids were sick uh, last week. They got COVID tested, it was negative, but it definitely took all of them out. I surprisingly didn't get like a single bit of the sickness, but the kids and Matt were so sick, it was so sad. So I took care of them, I believe that was last week. But anyway, I started a new morning routine just to try to be in a better mental place and it's really been working I really have been feeling really good it's only day two of the journaling but like I'm just back in the mindset of like getting up early which like I really learned to enjoy after I had cost in I never was a morning person until after I had her and then I feel like I kind of got out of it again I kept staying up late and then waking up later in the morning but I feel like just starting my day early really helps me mentally makes me feel like my day is longer gives me a little bit of time in the morning to be focused on myself I guess and just like preparing for the day rather than waking up and having to jump right into a bunch of things because the kids are awake and I am feeling really good this morning I'm finally feeling back to normal and so that is why I'm vlogging and I'm hoping to be vlogging pretty frequently now from now on because I really stopped and took a break for a minute also really quickly an update on Target so I know a lot of people have been asking where is Abby gonna be in Target when is she gonna be in Target I was under the impression that she would be in Target by June, but come to find out, things usually take a little bit longer. A very close friend whose daughter was also in Target, they were supposed to be up in October, they ended up in November, and I re-looked over our contract and it says that it should be used by July 12th, which is like nine days from now, ten days, nine days from now. So hopefully within the next nine days we will see Abby in Target. Um, it could be used for a whole bunch of different things as well as being a, an actual like sign in the store. So 
be on the lookout at your Target to see if you see it before I see it. I'm so excited for her to be up in Target so it doesn't even feel real. All right, so Ab is currently over there eating her breakfast. I'm getting ready to film the part that I need to film for um, the video that's almost done, the vlog that's almost done. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this filming while Kostin is asleep so that I make sure that I can get it done before she's up. Cause once she's up, she is wild and she's all over the place and she loves to yell while I film. Every single time that I film, she yells in the background constantly. So I'm gonna try to film really quick while she is down. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the other things that the Halara sent over. If you want to see the things that I already showed, go watch my last vlog. It should be up before this one. Um, but first off, I just got this like basic black sports bra. And then I got this black tank top right here. It's definitely not like double lined. It's very thin. So I have to wear probably something underneath of it. Or I'll just have to be very bold when I wear it. So this shirt is just a long sleeve shirt. And then it has this little ruching detail. These are so soft. I'm really excited about them so just some plain black leggings and then some purple leggings which I forgot that I ordered purple but it's like purple and heathered they're very soft and they have a little bit of like a ribbing detail if you can see so I'm really excited for those but that is everything that I got from the Hawara like I said if you missed the first half of the haul go look at my other video so now I'm actually gonna braid my hair back up into a braid really quickly we'll always remember now 11 a.m. I just worked for the past hour um, editing and everything the vlog that I filmed for this morning and now I know Kostin's gonna be getting up within the next half an hour Liam came downstairs he's still sleeping he just fell asleep on the couch cuddling me while I was editing um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the couple dishes that I have in the sink here clean up from Ab's breakfast over here and then set up some stuff for the kids to play with outside <laughs> into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now it could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again All right, we're back inside. Kostin is having some lunch. She's having some broccoli and some sweet potatoes. And Ab just came downstairs from upstairs. And what did you say? Red and egg I love your pants and their pockets. So Ab went upstairs and changed out of her swimsuit, picked out a new outfit, and got dressed. High five. So awesome. All right, go ahead and sit down. I'll have your food to you. I just know things will never be the same. strangers again. Again. I thought 
Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers 